Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. I am doing your tarot forecast for the month of June. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Six of Wands in the upright. And next we have the Queen of Wands upright, followed then by Major Arcana the Fool in the upright. And next we have the Four of Cups reversed. And then we have Major Arcana the Lovers in the upright, followed then by the Page of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. And next we have the Seven of Wands reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this reading for you guys. First of all, Taurus, for your overall energy, you have that of the King of Pentacles in the upright position. King of Pentacles is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of Taurus like yourself. Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. The King of Pentacles can also represent uh, someone, perhaps a businessman or a woman, because the cards are not gender specific. So um, the uh, King of Pentacles could be maybe somebody you're dealing with this month. This could be your spouse for some of you. This could even be your own energy. But the King of Pentacles knows how to govern and look after the things that are, uh, that represent our stability and uh, security in life, such as finances, such as business, home, um, work, that kind of thing. This could be your boss. If it is your boss, this person is probably, he's in the upright. This is could be your boss treating you very well. Uh, this could also represent a banker, a real estate agent, or a financial advisor. Perhaps some of you are working with a financial advisor this month. Others of you could be uh, looking to purchase a home or get a home, and this could be your realtor, your real estate agent. Uh, whatever the case may be, but he's in the upright position. So this person could be in a position to help you, to aid you, to help you find work, or to help you find a home or whatever the situation may be. And if this is your spouse, this person is uh, standing up to the plate uh, this month. This person is really being stand up and helping, uh, you know, maybe helping you deal with your finances or bringing in extra finances. Very good card. Now, what's crossing you is the Six of Wands in the upright position. This is the victory card, so this is really, really nice. It could be for some of you, you're having a victory with this King of Pentacles. And if it's your own energy, you are moving in the right direction. Because if this is just you representing you, the uh, Pentacles, uh, it's in the upright. So you're moving in the right direction, Taurus. And you're moving right towards a victory. Because the Six of Wands is all about having that victory in some area that we've been working towards. Some of you, it could be representing if you've been looking for employment. Perhaps this person helps you find employment or hires you. Uh, and there's your victory. For others of you, there could be a special relationship that is uh you know means a lot to you and you've been working towards stabilizing this relationship and there's your victory for others of you could have been a project you were working on it's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read but this is a card that represents pats on the back work well done being well received um and it's just basically you know that uh that big victory card, you know, where everybody's celebrating you, you get a lot of attention and accolades. And in the past, this could have something could have been something that happened a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago. You have the energies of the Queen of Wands in the upright. The Queen of Wands is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, it could be for some of you, perhaps this was a friend or a person who aided you or helped you get moving because the Queen of Wands is all about, you know, movement. She she lights a fire under you. She gets you moving. It could be somebody who motivated you, who uh, helped you to or helped you along. They could have been just sort of guiding you every step of the way or pushing you towards get this done, get this done, get this done. But whatever the case may be, you did have uh, either that or the 
uh, energies of the Queen of Wands was just you embodying that and maybe you were pushing and moving and that's why you moved in the right direction and you ended up with the victory. Now, coming out of the month of May and moving into June, we have the energies of Major Arcana, the Fool, in the upright position. This is all about brand new beginnings, taking that leap of faith, taking that chance. Sometimes the Fool energy can be a little bit foolhearted. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit risky energy. So because we're jumping into something that perhaps if it's for some of you could be uh, representing a relationship, maybe you're jumping into it and you're feeling a little bit nervous about it. For others of you, it could be jumping into a career or a job, perhaps something you've never done before and you're just jumping right into it. So it can make you feel a little bit nervous, this energy. But you're jumping into something brand new, like you're coming into the month like that, coming off of May and into June with that energy. And it's uh, giving way in early part of June to the Four of Cups in the reverse position. Four of Cups is uh, nicer, nicer energy inverted as opposed to upright. When it's in the upright position, this can represent that emotional stalemate that emotional disconnect. Uh, sometimes we're just too busy to deal with our emotions, that kind of thing. Sometimes it's just emotional apathy. When the card is inverted like this and point back to the Three of Cups, which is very sociable energy and very celebratory energy. So it could be that some of you are seeing some celebrations going down uh, this early part of this month and it could be due to this victory and this new leap of faith, this new thing that you're embarking upon. And for others of you too, this could represent something has happened on the emotional front to jumpstart your emotions again. Maybe you've met somebody new or something has happened to stir your emotions. Either way, really good energy. And then around the middle of the month, we have the energies of Major Arcana, the lovers in the upright position. This is the Gemini card. Uh, some of you could be connected to a Gemini. For others of you, this could just represent a choice, a big decision that needs to be made around the middle of the month. Now, this could be a choice or a decision definitely for a relationship. Perhaps if you've been casually seeing, say, two different people, and maybe now it's time to make a decision, maybe one of them is making you an offer and you have to sort of you know, go with it or leave it behind. We can always choose to love or to not love. The, it's all about a choice. And for others of you, this could be a choice of uh, partnering up with a company or a business partner. So there could be a major contract or something on the line around the middle of the month. Now this is you internally, not necessarily the face you show to the world, but now we have the page of pentacles here in the upright position. This is again, a core card and this is definitely your energy. It's uh, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. So this is you, uh, how you're feeling. The page of pentacles, is it can be a scholar this is somebody who could be an apprentice maybe this is you i definitely feel that because the fool is here too it's like you're moving into something perhaps that you're not really an expert at so you could be in the apprenticeship stage this month with whatever it is you're taking this leap of faith with and he's a scholar he's he's definitely um, he or she is definitely someone who uh, needs to study and needs to learn and mature to the Knight of Pentacles and then to the King of Pentacles. So yeah, it looks like you could be studying something this month. And I think it has to do with this new leap of faith and it could even have to do, be connected to this uh, choice in the middle of the month. Now in your people and environment, we have the Five Cups in the reverse position. Five of Cups in the upright. This is the card that represents um, sort of crying over spilt milk. This can represent a recent loss or disappointment on the emotional front when it's in the upright. When the card is reversed, this can um, point to some healing, doing some emotional healing. And it could be that either someone in your environment that is very close to you or means a lot to you, you see them on the, the healing in the healing process and it's making you feel better that they're starting to heal. Uh, for others of you, it could be the way that viewing, people are viewing you this month as someone who is uh, emotionally healing from, it could be t you took a big hit in anything from your career, job, relationship, whatever the case may be. You could have taken a big hit, but now you are healing from it. Very, very nice. And in your hopes and fears position, we have the seven of uh, wands in the reverse position. The seven of wands upright, this is a little bit of a defensive energy. This is where we're 
protecting ourselves, protecting our protecting someone else, uh, protecting our privacy, feeling a little bit on guard. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we're dropping our defenses. We feel we don't need them because we don't feel like anybody's really coming at us. So I think that's what you're hoping for this month, Taurus, that, you know, you're doing well, you're healing, and you're moving in the right direction, and you got this brand new beginning, and it seems like you just don't want anybody coming at you and sort of spoiling the waters right now. And the last card you have, a beautiful way to end the month and end the reading for you, is the lovely energies of the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. It looks like you're moving towards meeting your destiny uh, Taurus, because this is um, this is a card that definitely represents good fortune too. You could be, you know, just turning around the corner and buying a lottery ticket and winning a few dollars to um, just being at the right place at the right time to uh, just meeting your destiny because of the fact that you don't have any resistance going. So you're not pushing against the grain, you're moving with it. So the universe is cooperating to bring you the things that you desire and the lucky breaks. So that is your reading, Taurus. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.